With that, I'd like to call up our majority leader, the author of HR1, Steve Scalise. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and what a great day this is for American families who have been struggling for too long under the weight of high prices, record high inflation, all of the problems that President Biden has created, and especially for those people that have been frustrated for so long that President Biden has gone after American energy, but yet gone all around the world and begged foreign dictators to produce our energy and get our energy from them. This has never been a question about whether or not we have oil and natural gas in the United States of America. The question has been, where do we get it? When President Biden came into office on day one, he declared war on American energy. He killed the Keystone Pipeline here in America between the United States and Canada. But it wasn't because the president was against pipelines. He was just against American pipelines because just days later, he gave a gift to Vladimir Putin because he greenlighted the Nord Stream 2 pipeline between Russia and Germany. So there you had President Biden picking foreign countries like Russia over America. Then you saw him after lease sale after lease sale, permits that he wouldn't even let go through, slow walking permits, blocking permits, canceling lease sales to produce oil and natural gas in America. But again, it wasn't because he was against oil and natural gas. Because at the same time, he was making it harder to produce that oil and natural gas here in America. He was calling Vladimir Putin, begging him to produce more oil. Putin said no. So you know what the president then did? We said you could just pick up the phone, call some of these great workers here. Look at these great energy yeah. industry workers that are here. <laughs> Mr. President, these are American energy industry workers. They know how to make energy cleaner and more efficient than anywhere else in the world. And if you put them to work, they're going to not only be making it cleaner than anywhere else in the world, they're also going to be lowering costs for families who are sick and tired of paying 50% more at the pump, who are tired of paying 40% more in their household electricity costs because the countries that President Biden wants us to get our energy from, whether it's Russia, Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, he wants us to get our solar panels and windmills and batteries from China because he won't let us mine in America. Well, you know what? We stood up for America there too today because we said let's mine in America, not in China. You want to talk about standards? We are all sick and tired of these liberals in Washington who wake up every day trying to bash America and cancel projects in America. Nobody does it cleaner and better anywhere in the world than the United States of America. It's about time we open up America for business and say to all those foreign dictators in the world, we're not going to buy your energy that's dirty. We're going to get clean energy here in America. Let's lower costs for families. Let's stand up for those working men and women. And as we continue... The commitment to America we made is to stand up for those families who have been left behind by Washington for far too long. The good news for them is help is on the way. And we're going to keep doing this. We're not going to slow down. We're not going to stop working. And the man who's helped us